What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I just did a compression test on the 850 E-Tech. It's a 2020 backcountry. So I just wanted to share with you uh, a little bit of just kind of how I went about it. Some guys were talking on forums that it's kind of tricky to get to. And so I found some routes for the, just a couple handy routes for the, uh, for the compression tester to, to feed it down. And I thought I'd share that with you guys, kind of show you which way I did it. And uh, let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so this is where I routed the compression tester for the mag side. So what I essentially did is uh, right inside here over top of this air box duct, you can go in through a little hole here. It's kind of hard to see, but anyway, right inside there, you can run your hose in and it's a relatively direct drive right into the mag side cylinder. So that worked out quite well. Uh, on the PTO, for the PTO side, I actually ended up going in through here right between, uh, right underneath this blue hose here. So, whoop, sorry about that. So I went in right through here and that's kind of a direct shot right into the PTO cylinder, relatively straight. It still has to do a little bit of an angle curve once you kind of get in there. But if you could twist the top of the hose and twist the bottom of the hose at the same time, it really helps out. You can get one hand in through here. I found that's kind of the best. And then if you move this sound carpet insulation, you can get your hand right in here as well. And you can reach right down in and you can help twist that uh, compression tester hose into the cylinder. Works pretty good. I uh, thought it would be a bigger, more kind of difficult job than, than it was, but uh, overall went pretty well. So this is a 2020 Backcountry XRS. It's, uh, it's got 6,700 miles on it. It's never been apart. And the compression on it was exactly 135 PSI across both cylinders. They were exactly 135. So that's pretty impressive actually. Um, for them to be exact on each side is the key. And the fact that it's 135, that's quite high. I mean, not high, but it's uh, within OEM specs. I really don't think they're much more than that new. Um, maybe they're up to 140, maybe they're, maybe they're 145. I'm not sure if they're even that high. I do have a brand new 24 in the garage, I could check. But uh, it's not ideal taking the plugs out and digging around in there and stuff. So it's nice to just keep that new one sealed up. Anyways, uh, hopefully that helps you guys out a little bit. If you're wondering the easiest way to do a compression test and roughly what the compression should be, um, that's, uh, that's what I found. So if you like the content of the video and you want to see more, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. And that's all for now.